Another way to organize notes is to use a portal instead. And that sometimes seems like a lot more work, but it really isn't, and it does a much better job at organizing your notes. All we need is a table. So come in here and duplicate this one, or copy and paste it with FileMaker Advanced. Rename it, call it Notes. Go to the Fields section. Change that to Notes ID. Go into Options. Put in NOT here, if I can select correctly. And then we'll put the Note field. Create it. That's a text field. I always double check to make sure it's the right type. And really that's all we need. We just need the Note. And we'll have the stamp Create so we know it was created. Everything's all set to go. Then we'll take and connect this to our password, so we need a foreign key as well. There we go, create that. Now we can go to relationships, put that in there, do the same thing we did before with allow creation so we have an empty row and the cascading deletes. Click OK, go into layout mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of these two. I'm going to group them and option or control drag them depending on your platform and put them over here into this area because if I don't do this then you're going to lose this little button here and all I did here and maybe you want to have a big notes field maybe you don't want the portal maybe you find it easier to use I don't know it's up to you but I'm going to then ungroup this stuff get rid of this field right here get my portal tool Draw it about the right size, we'll fix it later. Notes, allow vertical scrolling, sort the portal, very important. Stamp create descending, move it over there. Click OK, put in my notes field and my timestamp create. Now let's turn on our sample data like we did before, that'll help us to resize this field. We don't need it to be very big. I'm going to leave a little room because I'm going to make a button here later. Make our notes field nice and big. Make sure they're not touching. That's good. This one, let's turn off this sample data first. I'm done with it. Then we need to make sure that this one, the notes field gets wider. And this one stays to the right. Now, there's a cool little technique right now. If I make this portal get bigger, it will get bigger and add more rows, but maybe I want my notes field to get bigger. If I make this get taller, I have just at least one field in here that gets taller, then what's going to happen is it's going to make the rows get bigger when it when the screen uh, when the window's resized. So that's kind of cool. So all you have to have is one field inside the portal that's set to go bigger, and instead of adding more rows when the window gets bigger, it makes the field bigger. So that's pretty cool. I like that technique. Okay, so we've got that in there, stamp create. We don't need to edit this in browse mode, so we'll make sure to turn that off. There we go. Let's move this to the right place. And it's not quite big enough, so I'll, oops, undo. Best thing you can do. Okay, I'll try resizing that again, just a little bit bigger. I think that's resized this right. Yeah, it's lined up. Couldn't tell for sure. Okay, still the right amount of room in here for my buttons. That's good. We've got some room for some more rows. Actually, need to move this up a little bit. There we go. Right in the right spot. Looks like it. I, I always eyeball things. I don't trust the guides completely, but uh, let's put in 13 here and see if that works. That's pretty good. I like that. So now we've got our notes field in here. We're going to make this into eventually into a, a new note button, but let's try it out for right now. Let's see how it works. So we'll go down here, say test, test two, and as soon as I exit out of it, test two goes to the top, so you have the most recent one. So it looks great. So it didn't take that long. It really wasn't that difficult to add this, and now you have all these notes stored as separate records. So what that means for you is that you can even do reporting on it. 
you can do searching much more easily. You can find the exact note because you can look at the record level. You can go over to the notes table and search it and find it. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do when you separate things because databases are records. That's what makes a database. I mean, fields are great and relationships are great, but really what a record is is what databases organize well. And so when you do this, you get a nice little organization. Now, I'm going to do one last thing here. I'm going to zoom in. I mean, out. I always do that backwards. I don't know why. Zoom out twice now. And you can see now that my portal, see how that row is getting bigger? I'm not adding new rows, it's getting bigger. So that's kind of cool how that works. Now we get back to natural size. You can see how the field, uh, the field's the same, you know, the regular size, and it has it's, it's gone back to normal because, uh, you know, we don't really have uh, a, a large enough screen here. If I had a large screen, I could really show you how big they grow, but you get the idea. So there's our notes portal, really nicely organized notes. And in the next video, we'll show you how to make a button that goes to the next portal row and do it adaptively.